you're looking at the hole, the nest hole of a hairy woodpecker. And you're hearing the hairy woodpecker's staccato calls and associated chattering. This bird is, um, I don't see it, the adults, one of the adults, the male or female, is returning to the nest hole, probably has food, and it's going to be feeding some young in this hole. So keep a sharp eye out for movement on that nest hole, on the bottom one. There are actually two cavities in this tree. The bottom cavity is the fresher one. It uh, has blonding below the hole. It's perfectly circular. It was excavated by this hairy woodpecker pair uh, about a month ago, a little bit more than a month ago. And I've been watching it ever since in my backyard. So, I'm still not seeing the bird, but I know it's close. It's been away for about five or 10 minutes and it's returning with food. But as they often do, they approach the nest hole somewhat tentatively, physically. However, they make a ton of noise uh, announcing their presence. Doesn't seem like the best strategy for a bird that relies on keeping its young safe from predators. Here comes the bird. Left side of the tree. And it's the male. Oh, false alarm. It flew off to the left. But the young are starting to chatter in the tree. It's a talking tree. Hairy woodpecker nests are easy to find this time of the year, late May, early June. You, you can walk around slowly and hear this baby bird, distinctively baby bird sound coming from the woods. Um, it's most likely a hairy woodpecker right now. So now it sounds like both male and female chattering to each other. I'll zoom out a little bit here and show you generally where we're looking. Oh, okay, bird's coming back in. Oops, okay, that squawking usually indicates the pairs are uh, the pair is talking to each other. They're still not coming in. Both male and female giving a little distance from this bird. So I'll show you generally where I am, the overall setting. I'm standing in my driveway. I'm Phil Brown, by the way, with New Hampshire Audubon. I meant to do that in the beginning. Um, too much excitement though at the nest hole. And shortly we should see something happening here. I can watch them naked eye. They're about 100, 150 feet away. I'll zoom back in. They're getting a little closer again. Going to feed those young. So the hairy is one of the first woodpeckers to fledge in our area. The, uh, the nestlings that are in there now, probably between three and five of them, will, uh, oh, there's some movement in the, in the hole. You can see a little head poking out every once in a while. Um, the fledglings should be out of the nest. They should become fledglings, I should say, which means they're at the point of, uh, of leaving the nest hole and being on their own. Um, that should be happening within the next uh, week to two weeks. Um, they can spend about 28 days, up to 28 days, in the nest hole growing, begging for food. That's a lot of work for the parents. But parents are used to that sort of thing, right? Certainly the case with parent birds. Well, they're still tentatively approaching that hole. Giving it some space. I have a feeling there's probably a predator around as they're giving it a little more space than usual. Um, I did hear a call of a broadwing hawk a little while ago. Here comes a bird. Again, it's the male coming in from the left. Has a mouthful of grubs. Feeding a big mouth. That was it. It looks like one young bird got a mouthful of grubs. Better than nothing. Wow, that tree off uh, certainly sounds like there's more than one baby bird in that tree. 
hopefully the next feeding will, uh, will allow another mouth to get a meal. So, pretty cool. Hairy woodpecker, a common backyard bird. You may have them nesting in your own backyard. They're here with us all year long. They come into bird feeders, um, especially in the winter. They'll feed on suet, seed, peanuts, a variety of different sources. But in the summer, they switch over, as most songbirds do, to grubs and insects. Insects provide a protein that can't be re replicated by artificial food at bird feeders. Let's see if another adult comes in. Maybe the female is close. Give it a few more seconds. Well, doesn't appear to be. So I'll say goodbye for now and thank you for joining me. I hope to be bringing you some more nest videos over the next several days from my backyard. I'm fortunate enough to be sharing space with several nesting birds uh, that I've been able to locate. So I'm taking it to you since I can't be out in the field with you right now. Uh, so New Hampshire Audubon is continuously trying to find ways to keep you connected to the natural world. Um, please visit our website, www.nhaudubon.org, and visit our Facebook page to find out more about what's going on, and hopefully we'll be out there again in the field together. So thanks for joining me, and happy nest searching.